In the previous lecture, you all understand how we can create graphical user interface in Python. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what is database. And we're going to create a simple database to store the Python data. Sometimes you may want to store your data somewhere, for example, in the files. But standard files are not capable for storing data because they will not serialize your data. In such case, we need a database, a database that can store and manage your data. A database is a collection of tables and tables is a collection of rows and columns. You store your data in rows and column format in the database table. So in this lecture, we're going to take a look at the SQLite database. Of course, not the only choice by far. There are several popular commercial choices such as Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server. There is also a wide variety of increasingly popular NoSQL database such as MongoDB. But for now, for the beginning, let's start with the SQLite database. I'm going to show you a very simple example to understand how database and Python can work together to store your data. We'll start with a practical and learn every line of code in detail. I will try to make everything simple for you. I will try to make everything simple for you. So let's get started and see how to create a database and store your data inside it. So I'm going to get rid of these comments and right here, I'm going to first import a simple module called SQLite. So here I'm going to say import SQLite. So I'm going to call this SQLite 3 module inside my Python file. You can find this SQLite 3 under the Python standard library. You can then create a connection directly to the database file, which will be created if it is does not exist by supplying by supplying a file name, which can be relative or absolute path to the file. So using this SQLite 3 module, I'm going to create a simple database to store my data. Just start that, just start this module. Once you import this module in your file, let's create a connection. So I'm going to just simply call SQLite 3 module and call a method connect. This method is going to connect your application to SQLite database. Just start that, I'm going to just specify here a parameter. So in this connect, I'm going to specify my database name. I'm going to just specify here database name, db name. You are free to specify any name here, that doesn't matter. And now here you need to pass extension db. Now the SQLite use a file extension db. So I'm going to specify here db as a file extension to this database. So once you specify this parameter to this connect, this connect method is going to create this db name dot db file and inside it you have this db name database. Once you have this file in your project directory, this connection method is going to return the connection object. So you need to get that object in the variable. So here I'm going to create a variable connection is equal to. Once you create a connection with SQL database, you need to create a cursor. The cursor can be used to execute SQL queries. We'll talk about what is SQL queries after a few seconds. But just for now, just create a simple cursor to execute SQL queries. So I'm going to just say here con dot cursor. So I'm going to call a method using this connection object. So using this connection object, I'm going to call a method cursor and store this cursor inside inside a simple object. So here I'm going to say curs cursor and store this object inside this variable. So we can easily access the cursor using this variable. I'm using cursor for executing SQL queries. SQL use commands to manipulate their data. For example, to create table, SQL use create table command. To insert value inside the database, the SQLite is going to use insert into command and to get the values or to select all the values, the SQLite use select from command. There are tons of commands you can get with SQLite. SQLite commands are out of this course. So I'm not going to talk about that in this lecture. But don't worry, I will explain all the commands I'm using in this lecture. So what I'm going to do is, once I have this cursor to execute SQL commands, once you're finished with this, if you have made any changes, make sure you commit them. So they are actually saved to the save file. You should commit each time you have modified the database, not just when you are ready to close it. So at the end of this cursor, you need to say connection dot commit, just like this. This is just like you save all the changes before closing your file. So down here, I'm going to say connection dot close, just like this. Let me just explain this code first, and then we'll create a simple table inside this database. I'm going to just simply import this SQLite from the Python. You can find this module in the Python module section. Once you import this SQLite, create a connection. To create a connection, just use SQLite3.connect. 
the connect method is going to create connection between SQLite and your Python program. It's going to create a simple file dbname.db and create a database called dbname. Just after that, once you have this connection, this connect method is going to return the connection object. So I'm going to store that object inside this connection variable. Once I have this connection variable, I'm going to create a cursor. As I said earlier, cursor is used to execute SQL queries. So I'm going to just say here connection dot cursor. So I'm going to call a method of connection cursor. The cursor is going to use for executing SQL queries. Just start that, I'm going to say here connection commit to save all the changes. And then I'm going to say connection close. And then at the end, we need to close the connection of the SQLite database. But before I execute it, let me show you my project structure. I just have a simple index file, python file, the sample.txt and the package file. When I execute this file, you can notice in my project file, I have dbname.db file. Right now, I don't have anything here because we did not create any table inside it. Now, once you understand how you can create a database file, let me just show you how you can create a database table. But before you understand how to create a database table and store the data, let me first explain what is a database table. In SQLite, you store your data in row and column format. Table is just a collection of rows and column. Tables help us to manage data for searching, filtering, shorting, and more. So once we have the database, I'm going to create a table inside it. So we can store all our data. So to create a table, let's execute a simple command. So just out of this cursor down here, I'm going to just call a simple command to create a table. So here I'm going to say cursor dot execute. As I said earlier, to execute SQL commands, I'm going to use this cursor. So just for that, once I call this method execute, in the parenthesis, you need to pass SQL commands. So here in this parenthesis, you need to pass a string with SQL commands. Inside this parenthesis, I'm going to call triple single quotes, just like this, to specify multi-line string. And here I'm going to specify create table command for SQLite. So here I'm going to say create table if not exist. So this command is going to create a table if it is not exist. And then I'm going to specify name for this table. I'm going to specify name sample. And in this table, I want two columns. I'm going to specify parentheses just out of the name. And inside this parentheses, I'm going to specify columns. So here I'm going to specify name for the column ID. You're free to specify any name here. That doesn't matter. And then I'm going to specify the data type of this column. So I'm going to just specify what kind of data I want to store inside this column. I'm going to store here text values. So I'm going to say here text. I'm going to specify here comma to create next column. So I'm going to create second column here and I'm going to name the second column name and specify data type text because I'm inserting string values inside this name column. So I'm going to specify name text. Save the changes and now you have this table inside your database. Let me just execute this file. Once I execute it, you can notice if you open this dbname.db, you can notice you have some data inside it. This is going to create a simple table inside this file. You don't need to worry about this data. Just close this database. Now this command is going to create a table inside this database. So you can store all the data as a row and columns. In the next lecture, we're going to understand how to insert and fetch data from this sample table. So. I will see you in the next one.